Okay, so here's video two of our um, science day. And we studied a little bit about gases, which is chemistry. And this video, we're gonna do physics and learn about Newton um, and his laws of motion. So Newton was the guy who got the apple dropped on his head and discovered gravity. So he also developed some laws of how things move. And we're gonna study law three, which is for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So whenever we push or pull, so any kind of action or force we put out, there's going to be an opposite and at the equal force back, um, the force will go back at us. Now you're thinking, well, I open my fridge, I open the doors, I pull, I push. I don't feel this reaction back. Now it's sometimes hard to actually feel this force back. So we're going to show um, how it works in these experiments. Now, before I want you to think about it, so what if we threw our basketball? Now, do we feel a force? We don't really feel a force back very much, and that's because our basketball is really small and our force outward might be also small. So it's hard to get a good force back on us. So we might not feel that big force back on us. Now, um, what about, is there anyone who swims? So have you guys watched swimming? When they do, when they swim laps and they do their turns, the swimmers will push really hard on the wall to propel them forward in the water. So that is physics and um, the motion. They're pushing on the wall and the wall is pushing back on them just as much as they pushed, propelling them forward through the water. Pretty cool, all about physics. So we have two experiments for you today. Um, the first one, we need a balloon and some tape, a straw and some string. And we're gonna see how air pushes back on itself and propels our balloon forward. Okay, so what we did is we're gonna put our string through our straw and we connected it to a doorknob and you're gonna want either connect it to another doorknob or have someone holding it. Um, we also put some pieces of tape. So I'm gonna blow up our balloon and connect it to the tape and then let it go and see what happens. Three, two, one, let go. Woo! <laughs> Okay, so we're looking at our balloon, and so what is happening? We talked about that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So when the air of the balloon goes out, there's an equal force that's going to push the balloon, and it's going to push it along the string because of our straw. So we're going to see... Um, and that is exactly how rockets work. It gets, you the push the force out and then an equal force pushes them up into the air. All right, so we are gonna now try a new experiment with Elizabeth up on the stairs. So we're gonna do an incline and see how that works. All right, ready, James? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. So for our next experiment to learn a little bit more about Newton's third law, that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, we're going to make a really cool rocket with a chemical reaction. So what you will need for this experiment is a pop bottle or any kind of water bottle that's around 500 milliliters. We'll need straws, three or four straws will do, a cork, some tape, uh, vinegar, and baking soda. All right, so what we're gonna do is you can start off decorating your rocket. So you can color it or put a little cone on it 
Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to build its structure. So you're gonna wanna put your cork in the bottom and we're going to put our straws so it holds up the rocket. So when I put the straws on the table, it's gonna hold up the rocket. And then we're gonna tape these straws in place. So like I said, you can do three or four, but the straws have to be longer than your cork because you wanna hold it up above the ground. Okay, you wanna make sure that after you, so once we've taped our straws, um, that it's a pretty secure because what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour in our vinegar and baking soda, cork it, flip it, um, so you'll make sure that it's secure when you flip it upside down. So um, on the gases YouTube, we learned a little bit about mixing vinegar and baking soda. So when we mix vinegar and baking soda, we create carbon dioxide. And when we do it in this bottle, um, the gas of the carbon dioxide wants to release because gases want to take up lots of space. But if we cork it, then it just builds up and builds up and has nowhere to go. So it's called building up pressure. Until finally there's so much pressure, it's going to pop the cork. And the cork's going to go straight down to the ground. And remember what we said about forces? So the force of the cork is going to go straight down. And an equal and opposite force is going to make the rocket go shooting straight up. So have fun. We're going to fill up, have fun watching how high your rocket can go. The next step is we're going to fill our pot bottle with about halfway full of vinegar. I have a funnel here. I'm going to fill it with vinegar. Okay, I think I forgot to mention that this is a not experiment to do inside the house. The rocket goes pretty far, pretty high, pretty fast. So after we filled our rocket with vinegar, we're gonna go ahead and get a spoonful of baking soda. So pretty good like tablespoon and kind of push it along your um, a paper towel and what we're gonna have to do is this is a pretty small hole so we're gonna roll up our baking soda in this paper towel and then we're gonna twist the edges and twist the edges on this side all right, so we got all our stuff. We're gonna go take it outside. We're gonna put our um, baking soda paper towel, shove it through our hole, and then cork it really quick and flip it upside down and watch what happens. Okay, so come outside to do our experiment. We have our bottle halfway full of vinegar. We have our baking, powder, baking soda roll. We're gonna stuff it in and cork it really quick, okay? Shh, quiet, the video's on, okay? Be quiet. And then flip it over. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna do a rocket. Okay. And then you have to flip it over. Yeah, once you cork it, you have to flip it over really fast. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this. Cork, cork, flip it, flip it. Mama, flip it! Because it didn't make it in time. It's gonna blow. It's gonna blow. Whoa! And fell! Okay, that corked. So those are our videos. We actually did it twice. Um, the first one went pretty well and it was a pretty fun rocket. Um, but we tried one with a little bit of smaller bottle, um, not quite half the size, but um, still filled it with half of an, um, 
half the bottle full of vinegar, but it was a lot less weight because vinegar is pretty heavy to go to try and shoot off the ground. So with it being smaller, it was able to shoot up really high, um, kind of like a rocket. So go ahead and try it. You can try it with a small bottle or a little bit bigger and see how your rocket goes. All right, I hope you had so much fun. Ours went probably as high as our house. Um, so it was really cool. My uh, we had lots of fun watching our rocket launch. You can repeat it as many times as you want. Um, so have fun and enjoy. Remember that why it works is because for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So go have fun with rockets. And don't forget, we'd love to see your pictures and your experiences. So either post them on the Knickerbocker PTO Facebook page or go to the link um, in the description and share it with our um, the Watertown uh, District STEAM um, Fair page and it will be on Knickerbocker STEAM Fair page. So um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for some fun with technology and coding.